All right, guys, here we are back on Auto Sim. We're going to be continuing our career mode here, our owner mode, where we own King Racing. Morgan Shepard is our driver. Uh, we have a one car team. Let's take a look at it here $115,000 in the bank. Morgan Shepard is an 84.5 overall at 47 years old. 85 overall car with 90 engine, 77 aero, 99 chassis, and a 76 pit crew. So, what I think we're going to do here is. Um, you know, do our usual thing where we upgrade Morgan's driver rating at the start of the season, and then we'll go forward and try and hire some staff because all of our staff contracts have expired. So we now have no staff members on our team. So yeah, we're going to have to uh, improve that as quickly as we can. So what we're going to do here is uh, go into the Hall of Champions. As you see, Rusty Wallace has taken both titles, and we now look on to the end of the 90s, the, or the end of the 80s, excuse me, the 1989 season. So the first thing we need to do is get a driver mentor so we can upgrade Morgan Shepard. Two year for 44, it's pretty expensive. Five year for 35,000, I will take that from uh, the second highest guy. So let's see what we can do here. We have 76,000 in the bank. We can pay 75,000 to upgrade Morgan's driver rating by six, which I will do. Taking him up to a 90.5 straight away. That's all our money gone. But not bad. All right, so we finished 16th. Bobby Hillen Jr. is your 1989 Daytona 500 champion. And we'll just run some races here to make a little bit of money. We go 14th in race two, and then a nice top 10 uh, to get our season started. Kyle Petty is driving the number 21 for the Wood Brothers. I don't think I can think of anything better than that. Go 15th there in race four, and then at race five, we come home in 12th. All right, so let's take a look at the team here at $47,000 in the bank. I think what we're going to do is try and get either aero or pit crew upgrade. Uh, so let's hire staff. I want to say director of analytics would be aero. Uh, he's not interested in signing. Three years for 34000 Four years for forty-seven. All right, we'll take the three for thirty. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So it costs 30000 to upgrade Arrow by 6. How much money do we have? So we have 16000 So we'll be able to upgrade that relatively quickly. And we come in with a nice win right there. All right, Kyle Petty led the most laps for the Wood Brothers. And Morgan Shepard gets a win at Old North Wilkesboro. I will take that. So a pretty good start to the season. Uh, after six races, we're 12th in points. But things, of course, are going to be very tight at the beginning. And we come 19th, so great way to back up that win. <laughs> but we will upgrade our uh, aero department a little bit to take it to 83. Very good. Uh, this is good, getting these staff members signed on for a long period of time here for not too much money because we can just really get a good car and Morgan Shepard all set up for the next couple of years. So kind of some top 20 finishes middling, but we come in with another win. All right, two race winner on the season. We win the Coke 600. Unbelievable. What is this? Why do... Why do we have race 28 at Riverside right here? What am I looking at? It's only week 10. That's a weird bug. Alright, so anyway, uh, 73,000 in the bank. Are the results predetermined? So it was week 10, we won at Charlotte. So it was Bill Elliott about to win at Dover. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm going to upgrade my car. So upgrade Arrow. And upgrade Arrow to 95. So we're almost maxed out on that for almost all our money. Is Bill, El Bill Elliott going to win? No, Davey Allison won. Where did those results come from? Who knows? All right, Mikey finished uh, second place at a boy. And we finished 16th. Let's actually take a look at the team overall. 91 driver, 90 car prestige. Uh, really need to work on the pit crew. It's the only thing uh, not even in the 90s, and it's in the 70s. So pit crew guy will be the next one we go for. Uh, we go 11th there, and we get another win. Our third on the season, I believe that is our record high now. And uh, Morgan Shepard, I can't even remember what race this is. I guess it was number 13 at Riverside, so yeah. Morgan Shepard, the road course ringer. And uh, yeah, that'll be eighth in the points. So I will take that. Going to team editor here, 61000 in the bank. So we do need to hire a pit crew 
recruiter. So let's see who we can get on a long deal. Uh, one year, no, I don't want that. Okay, four year, 40,000, I'll take it though. Very good. We're setting ourselves up for a good couple years here. Uh, 30,000 upgrade pit crew by three. Okay, so one more race and we'll be able to do it. We come home in 11th. Ricky Rudd and Ronnie Thomas get in a fight. I love to see it. We're ninth in points. And Terry Levante is about 120 ahead of us. So we will upgrade our pit crew here. Very good. Up to 79. It's, it's all coming together, guys. Finish 14th. <laughs> and 18th. Way to go. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. Top 5 for King Racing. And we shall upgrade the pit crew again up to 82. So this is going to be uh, one of the best cars we've ever brought. 91 driver and 91 car. We come home 20th. Dick Trickle and AJ Foyt getting a fight. My goodness. There's a 15th with Neil Bonnet getting the win. 20th. Bobby Wawak and Dick Trickle now getting a fight. Dick Trickle is having a good time. And 18th. These are not the results we need for the car we have. But we'll go pit crew up to 85 there. So now we have engine at 90, aero 95, at chassis at 99, pit crew 85. Very good car. Uh, sixth place, good stuff. At 20th, what are these like inconsistent results? It's going to knock us out of the top 10 in points down to 14th. Not going to be good enough. 23rd. Ah, down the stretch, we've been terrible. 15th. I have to upgrade the pit crew again here, up to 88. A 12th place, okay, that's acceptable. 31st, my goodness. It is all falling apart. Okay, a top 10, desperately needed, but it is way too late for that. I think we're going to hold on our money to upgrade uh, Morgan next season. We come home 17th in the last race. Your 89 champion is Terry Labonte, and we come home 16th as we were absolutely abysmal down the stretch after pitch picking up three wins early in the season. Uh, we finished third in the season with three wins, but just terrible down the stretch. But we do have 58,000 in the bank with Morgan sitting at 85 driver rating, so we should be able to upgrade him quickly. Let's see here. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers defeat the Eagles in the Super Bowl, 26-24. Good game. The Heat defeat the Lakers in the NBA Finals. And Hulk Hogan defeats Andre the Giant in the main event of WrestleMania 3. And a loser leaves the brand match. Well, goodbye, Andre. It's been nice knowing ya. Okay, so we have our equipment regression here. Uh, only one on the arrow, which is good. Our engine went down quite a bit, as did the chassis. Morgan Shepard wants a two-year deal. We accept. Uh, Morgan Shepard has retired, but hopefully he hasn't really. We go to the next season, so let's see here. Uh, Penske Racing number two is joining the Cup Series. Bobby Allison is retired. Uh, Kyle Petty has been kicked out of the Wood Brothers, and now uh, Bobby Hillen Jr. is going to drive it. Derek Cope's driving for Hendrick. Uh, JD McDuffie is driving the 88. Very interesting. Okay. So, uh, overview, we have 58,000, so let's see what we need to pay here to upgrade Morgan Shepard. I think it's 65? No, 75,000. Okay, so we'll have to run a couple races. No problem. Let's do that. Alright, second place in the Daytona 500 from Davey Allison. A huge result right there. Gets us a ton of money. And that'll allow us to upgrade Morgan Shepard to 91. So that's probably where we'll leave him for this season. We can continue working on the car. Engine and pit crew indeed. A 16th place right there. Bad result. Uh, same thing with the 18th. We need to be consistent in the early season. There's a top 10. Mikey gets the win. So we're up to 34,000. Uh, what do we want to upgrade here? So engine we're in need of. Uh, pit crew still our worst aspect though. So we will upgrade that. It's going to take us to 87. We do need to hire a staff member to improve the engine, though. So that's going to be quite costly, especially when we're getting 18th place. All right, we finished third. Larry Pearson and Davey Allison get into a fight. Another top 10. Very good. Let's see our money situation. 41,000. What's it going to cost to hire somebody for the engine? 
would be a technical director, I believe. One year for 46,000, I do not like that. Four years for 39, that's a lot better. So we'll take that, and then we're going to need uh, 60,000 to upgrade the engine. Okay, so let's run some races. 13th, not bad. And a 15th there. So we take a look at the standings after nine races. Davey Allison is your leader. Morgan Shepard, top 10. Uh, I have not seen Dale Earnhardt at all. Yeah, he's down in 15th. All right, then. Scrolling through here, I want to see Jeff Gordon. He's in f the 51 car, 41st in points. So, yeah, he's not uh, not panning out as of yet, but still a long way to go in his career. Uh, we go 17th there in race 10. And a top five, Dale Earnhardt gets a win. Uh, we still have not seen ourselves in victory lane yet this season. It's quite all right. 14th, okay. Another top 10. We've been solid, but not spectacular. And now we can now afford to upgrade the engine by 8, taking it to 94. Which is going to give us a 92 overall car and a 91.5 driver. Our pit crew is still our worst aspect, so we will upgrade that next chance. Another top 10. And we go what, top 5 right there. Second place to Dale Earnhardt yet again. Lots of uh, runner-ups in this season. No wins. We'll upgrade the pit crew to 90, though. So we have all 90s across the board for the first time ever. Another top 10. Another top 10. Kenny Schrader gets your win for Richard Petty. And uh, that's going to draw us up to 7th place now in points. Only a little over 100 back. I mean, no wins. We're pulling the Matt Kenseth right now. Never mind. First place, we take those. It was at Watkins Glen, Morgan Shepard, your road course ringer. And uh, it's weird, it's still got the uh, stats all messed up. I don't know what this is, but... Oh, there we go. Okay, so race 19 in Michigan. So yeah, it's fixed now. Alright, so we get our first one of the season. The road course ringer brings it home. And let's see what we want to do. So we have enough money to upgrade the pit crew twice, I believe. No, not quite. We're a little bit short, about a thousand. So if we go into team overview, now 92 driver at 93 car. Very good. We go top 10 right there. Race 20, we finish 11th. How are the standings? So we're 7th place, but only 70 points back. It is extremely tight at the top after 20 races. And we're going to push here with our money. Uh, and try and do what we can. So uh, if we pay 30000 that'll upgrade pit crew by 3. But what I'm thinking is we'll take an engine or an aero upgrade. Because that'll upgrade it by more than 3. See what I'm saying? So if we pay 30000 to upgrade it by 6, that'll be a bigger improvement. So we'll take aero up to 100 there. We finished 17th. I'm metagaming, and that did not work out. <laughs> All right, second place. That was a big, big finish to keep us alive. Upgrade pit crew to twice here to 99. So we have a 96 overall car, 100 aero, 99 pit crew, 94 engine, 93 chassis. We are fifth in points, 90 points back with a couple races to go. Finish 12th. Finish 18th. That is not going to get it done, Morgan. Now we're almost 100 back with a couple races left. Only have 30,000 in the bank. We go 19th. No, Morgan. Not doing what we need to do here late. 29th down the stretch. We've been awful. 20th. We cannot finish strong. 23rd. Bill Elliott and Phil Parsons getting a fight. Oh, what an abysmal finish to the season. We go 31st there. And Ricky Red is your champion. We almost fall out of the top 10. Finishing 8th in the points. Uh, that was our closest chance yet, but... Alright, well, we have uh, 74,000 in the bank, bringing a 96 car to next season. Uh, probably a bit of regression first. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So the Rams beat the Titans in the Super Bowl 28-22. Uh, maybe one yard short happened in 1990. The Nets defeat the Clippers in the finals. 
and Lex Luger defeats Bret Hart in the main event of WrestleMania 4 in a ladder match, that could actually be a good match in theory. So we'll go to the silly season here. We have uh, our usual regression. Uh, not too much on the engine chassis or pit crew, but four on the arrow. Uh, let's see here. We've received an offer from Pontiac to switch to the brand. So as part of the deal, our chassis and arrow will be upgraded by eight and we'll receive 55,000. However, our engine will be downgraded by five. I think that's worth taking. Uh, we get a big chassis and arrow upgrade that should take us up 200 I think and a big money injection our engine goes down a little bit about but we can afford to upgrade that so we'll accept uh, Morgan Shepard has not retired this time okay so we've made the switch to Pontiac we'll go into the next season so Roush Racing will join the 1991 Cup Series in the number six Dave Marcus, Kale Yarbrough, JD McDuffie uh, Connie Slay Sailor have retired, and Ken Reagan now drives the 88, Jimmy Means the 71, and Lake Speed takes over for Kelly Yarbrough. Very interesting. All right, so at the start of the 90s, let's take a look here. We have 129,000 in the bank, 85 overall driver, but we can't afford to upgrade it, 95 car with a 100 arrow, 99 chassis, 96 pit crew, and the engine, which we will be able to upgrade. This could be the year. But this is where I will end the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy that. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate you for watching. And I will see you in the next one.